Me han podido las ganas, me han podido la ansia, son las 12 y 26 de la noche, no engaño a nadie, 12 y 26 de la noche, me apetecía muy mucho darle caña a este Atomic Heart, y eso que <coughs> ando un poco <coughs> pachuchillo, pero... Me apetecía muy mucho, así que mando de series X, Xbox Game Pass, Atomic Heart, día 1, vamos a darle caña a ver qué tal está. Vamos a ver las opciones, a ver qué tiene, juegos, utilidad de imágenes, controles y tal. Vale, vamos con nueva partida. Eh, átomo pacífico, camarada, complace de la bebida, no sencillo paseo turístico, nada. Te gusta que la diversidad es una generación desbordante. Vamos a este. Vamos, que es normal, básicamente. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chalamet complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Qué guay, tenemos un guante para adelante. We've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Vale, en principio recordemos que estamos en un mundo pues bueno, gobernado por este tipo Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> That always cracks me up. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. Wow, como recuerda el caballo sol. What's up with your Volvash box, Andre? You're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. La verdad no me mola el tema del subtítulo que esté justo en la zona donde están hablando. Me gustaría la verdad que estuviera siempre en el mismo. Gracias, mam. El código es 0451. Ok, entonces. Ponte a trabajar, bums. Move it. Move it. Oh, you did it. Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Son como pequeños hitlers, tío. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. 
Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. Vale, parece que esto empieza ya. Gráficamente no se ve mal, la verdad, eh. Otra cosa es que YouTube lo consiga subir a calidad óptima. Pero bueno. Mira, estos pequeños clips, tío. Todos con bigote, macho. Me veo a mí mismo. No. La verdad es que esa parte no me mola nada. Eh. No es para mí. Está malo de los juegos de primera persona, pero bueno, que algunos no tengo. Jamba Jamba, Kitty Pampa. Comrades, residents and visitors of the Icarus platform are encouraged to make use of the Comrades, assemble near the Brown Plate Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, Everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. The launch of Collective 2.0 I still can't believe the stars can be so close. Comrades! Ya verás como ese, ese va a dar por culo que no veas. Eh. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your eminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina to activate the scanner just make a special gesture please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it the palm of your hand should be facing the object <laughs> 
contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> Vale, activar el escáner, mantén RB más RB. Demon, be gone. For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenoff, is about to begin. Repent, sinners! A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing action victory. And we're found to change the world as we know it. La verdad es que es impresionante, eh. Impresionante. No, no exagerando. Just look. Report to the lobby of that high rock. You just have to transform their waiting room. Vale, vamos. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last. A network of humans and robots. Humans will so be able glad to, control to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. And the car is waiting. We will you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you can control your robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Muy el nivel de este juego ahora mismo. All human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You es brutal lo mucho que se parece a Bioshock. Es que es espectacular lo mucho lo mucho que se parece a este juego, eh. Para el que no haya jugado por cierto a la saga de Bioshock, super super recomendada. Super recomendada. Aunque sea el primero. Aunque simplemente juegues el primero, de verdad. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you?
Vale, ¿y ahora? Ah, vale, aquí se baja, vale. Sentinov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm really helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Vale, pues vamos al laboratorio. Es que tiene pinta de que en cualquier momento todo esto se va a descontrolar. O sea, se va a ir todo a tomar por culo. Es que tiene una pinta de, vamos... Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from here. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic workers from the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. your assignment and it's been less than an hour they are good Jawohl, mein Führer. what did you just say i said the signals on the fritz but thanks anyway herr stockhausen dr sechenov already filled me in don't you think that may have been a bit too much nope for some reason your response didn't surprise me at all guess i don't have any respect for brown nosers tell me is there anyone you do have respect for sure but respect is earned Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, comrade major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? 
Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Sinceramente no me esperaba que que empezara así, ¿no? Llevamos 22 minutos de gameplay y todavía no ha No sé. Está como muy light, ¿no? Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Petrov is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory A of the This is above all facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh! What 
the hell are I you slipped. doing, lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Hold it. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Fuck. Mira que ya había dicho que empezaba flojo. Pues ahora empieza de verdad. Ahora empieza de verdad, ¿eh? Y por lo que veo parece técnicamente la palma, ¿no? Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me. Alive. Copy that, Bye, sir. Man. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Get me out of here! 
Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Come on, Ivan. Anybody? Shit! Uh, get away from me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! <sighs> no good. Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Shit. Dame me algo, no? Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way! Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! Goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Vale, más van a premir que lamentar. Los enemigos pueden hacer ataques brutales que derivarán a P3 e impacta con él. Eh, cuando el enemigo esté preparado al ataque, ya se indica el mejor momento para esquivarlo. Cuando aparezca el alto rojo, pulsa un mueve para esquivar. Yeah, she's... May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous. Oh, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Recoge recursos en masa. Si tienes muchas cajas delante, maten el revés hacia ellas y mueve eh, una a otra sin soltar. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Vale, ahí hay más por lo que veo. ¿Qué me ha dado? Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an... Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You what? got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! Vale. Holy shit, avoid the beam.
ya... Uno más. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa cross? What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the lock and pin light goes on. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you But I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your... Great. 
The goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something and knock it out with an EMP. the key. You can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move.
Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Oh, there, my phone. Relé de seguridad pasiva. Desbloquea la función de relé de seguridad pasiva eh, poniendo los flujos magnéticos en el orden correcto. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Vale, usa azar contra enemigos para pararlos en seco e incluso matarlos. Qué cabrón. Play to your tin god. Claro, antes le pegaba y ahora hace un giro. No tengo una forma de cambiarlo. con la otra puta mierda teniendo esto en serio There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. 
it would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. How am I supposed to restart the line? There There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ugh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. The schematic. Need to find the schematic. Uh, what was that? There it is. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. Need to find so the, the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Here's his toy, and it's him. Station Master. What a joke. This works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome we are ready to depart. Please take your seats Ten. according to your ticket. Nine. Sorry. Eight. No ticket. Seven. Six. Later. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride.
stuff. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some civvy wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Shit. You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. <sighs> Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals all clan speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. bastante tarde, o sea que yo creo que con una hora y pico de gameplay yo creo que está bien para ver lo que son las primeras impresiones de este pedazo juegazo que sinceramente me está puto encantando así que nada, ya sabéis, si os gusta el contenido os gusta el canal, pues hombre, os invito a que os suscribáis que es totalmente gratuito, lo más importante disfrutad, chao